Okay, so let's try to bring closure now. Um, you're usually going to get something like this in a Fisher projection, and so I want to make this into a Pyranos. And Pyranos has a six membered ring with an oxygen contained inside of it. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five carbons. One, two, three, four, five carbons in the ring. And the sixth one, we're going to kind of hang off the tail here. So a couple things we want to look at here is, number one, we need to get a six carbon ring. And so I like to number down from the carbonyl, which is where we're going to attack. One, two carbons, three carbons, four carbons, five carbons, and then land on an oxygen of the number you want to make the ring. So if I want a six carbon or a six membered ring, I would do one at the carbonyl, two, three, four, five, and then end on this oxygen. Okay, you now if you've done that, you know where your OH is. If it's on the right, that means it's going to go up. So I'm going to fill in my blank here on my projection, my Hayworth projection. And then we're going to go ahead and try to fill in these other spots. Now, uh, it's pretty easy once you do this. Just remember that if it's on, if the OH that you end on is on the right, the tail goes up. If it's on the left, the tail goes down. Okay, now the next trick for this is to lay the Fisher projection on its side and flop it over. And then the positions that are right here, if they're down here on the flop door Fisher projection, they're going to be down in these three positions here. This position is the old carbonyl, and that's going to be different, so we'll have to wait for that one. But we can fill in down, down, down in these three positions. I'm going to do that right now. Down, down, down. Okay. So we can actually push arrows here. We're going to do this base catalyzed. I'm going to pull this hydrogen off with an OH minus. Then our bond electrons are going to attack here at carbonyl, and then we're going to get protonated by an H2O. Like that. And that's going to close our ring. Now the carbonyl here, if it got attacked from the bottom or from the top, we're going to get two different uh, diastereomers out of this, whether it's alpha or beta, depends on if the attack came from above, that would be alpha, or below beta. That means that the group is going to end up opposite, so alpha attack from above ends up below. So I'm going to do an alpha pyranose here, so that means our attack from this oxygen came from above, and that means that our OH is going to go down. Yeah. So that's how you would do that kind of thing. I'm going to do another example. Okay. Now let's do one with a five-membered ring. Okay, so I'm going to do a aldo pentose Okay. And again, we're going to try to let's do a beta Furanose. And Furanose has an oxygen at the top. And one, two, three, four carbons in the ring. That means we have a tail. It hangs off up here. Now, this is the same trick as last time. We're going to number down from our carbonyl. One, two, three, four. And remember, we want to end on an oxygen because that's the nucleophile. So there's our oxygen. There is our configurational carbon. That if it's on the right, remember, it's going to go up in the tail position. There's our tail. Now our other positions, we're going to do the same trick. We're going to flop over our Fisher projection. It's down, up, down. So that means, what do we know here? Well, we know this one is already in the ring, so it's going to be up, down in our ring. This one is our old configurational carbon. We don't want to do anything with that. So it's going to be up, 
down. And again, we're looking at beta here. Beta means attack from below, and that means our OH is going to end up on the top. There's our beta furanose for that guy. Okay, let's do one more. And mechanism for this. Well, we can do this under either acid or base catalysis. Let's do this one under acid catalysis. So I'm going to draw my little H3O+. Plus. My H3O+. Plus. In, base catal in acid catalysis, everything should have a positive. Okay. So this is just going to straight attack. It's going to get deprotonated here. It's going to give us our OH, but we also need a water in an acid catalyst to pull off that hydrogen. So that water is going to pull the hydrogen after the end, right? So it's still correct to draw it like this, pull the hydrogen, do the attack, and then get protonated. Um, you can still do it that way, but realize that this is probably going to have it afterwards. And we could draw intermediates for that if we like. So that what's going to happen is we're going to get the attack, get protonated, we're going to have a ring oxygen here that is actually OH+, and we're going to need to use the water to pull that off. Okay, so let's try